Hello everybody, yes, how are you all doing? It is the Fred is 93 here and welcome back to another edition of the FC Cal Career Mode. Now we are taking on Bayern Munich here today at the DFB Pokal. And then we've got league games away against Bayer Leverkusen. Home against Borussia Dortmund. And then I may just go ahead and quick sim the Wolfsburg and Hertha Berlin games. And then leave things at the January transfer window. Well, we'll be putting now one or two polls for you guys to help decide on one or two pre-contract transfers. But I'll get into that later on. So let's just jump into the first game against Bayern Munich in the DFB Park out. Now, we've already advanced into to the stage that we needed to have gotten to from the board objectives and then some. So I will be playing the rotated side, as you can quickly see just on the side there. And I'm going to visual sim this match and only jump into it if it feels possible. So we're just jumping into this first game of the episode. I will see you guys at any goals or in any significant moments in the game or if I need to step in. Oh, we have gone 1-0 up and I've got no idea how because Bayern Munich have been on the front press for most of the game so far but Ishmael Jacobs has fired us into the lead. It being coming, it being coming, Robert Lewandowski gets Bayern Munich back on level terms. Here we are, so going into the half half-time break, the score's currently 1-1 at the moment. Fairly even in terms of possession, possession but Bayern Munich have had more of the shots. But let's see what we can do in the second half. And Bayern Munich have jumped into the lead through Thomas Muller. Well, and we've just brought on Kind, Oot and Modest, but I'm not going to jump in just yet. What is going on? Is this going to be 3-1? It is. Ah. We had a good start this. We had a good start in this game. And we had a good run in the competition. However, I can, however, it looks like this is going to be the end of the road. And if Sane makes it four, definite com confirmation there. So we knew that start from the first minute was too good to be true. However, we knew it was going to have been a tough task against Bayern Munich. Still proud of the team, nevertheless, for getting that far in the DFB Park out. But now the squad has had a well-earned rest ahead of the game against Bayer Leverkusen, which I believe is in two days' time. So we will be rolling with the... First, first team, there's a little confirmation just above where my head is there if you need it real quick. And let's just jump straight into that match. So match, match getting underway from the Bayern Arena. Let's go. Scary great ball into Modest. Who fires it just wide. Uh, we've got to applaud Ella Scary. Here recently for his uh, goal contributions for FC Curl in real life, helping us get to that win against Borussia Dortmund. Let's see what he can do for us here. Hopefully, we don't, don't need to rely on him as heavily because we have Anti Modest firing on all cylinders. Martin clean in. He finds the runner Modest. Is he offside? No, he's onside, and that fires us one nil up. And it's that man again, Anthony Modest. And I believe that that goal was beautifully assisted by Martin with that fabulous through ball. We we've got off on the on the on the, we started off the stronger team, and that just pays off. Into kinds, he sees the run of Modest, but he also sees that he's offside. So he's going to cross it back. Hope he finds Modest that way, which he doesn't. So the chance is still alive if he can get his back beautifully into Hector, which he does. Can the captain get a goal? Nope, because this shot gets blocked. Half and a half time whistle goes. 1 0 up against Bayern Leverkusen with Des taking that chance early on. Let's see what we can do in the second half. 
Martin's in behind Jonathan Tarr. Can he make it two for the shot? Not quite. Because the block does come in, but we do get the corner. Ugh. Lost concentration there for a moment. Allowed them to uh, dance their way through the middle. And there goes Andrea Bellotti. Finishing exquisitely. Can't afford to let the mistakes happen again, especially not just before we well, bring on substitutions. Right, and here we go. On come Podes, not Podes, Podolski, Ut, and Jakobs. As we're good, we're just going to go for this. We're going to search for the winner. Jakobs is on the break. He sees us. He sees all the runs. He's still going to go on his own, you know. He's going to set up Martin for potentially the winner. Not quite. Um, my guy clearly didn't get the memo that this is an away game. Right, Hector sending that corner because I know exactly who's standing there. It's Mustafi. Okay, maybe I didn't know who it was there. I thought it was uh, Madolski, but no, it was Mustafi. But there's Madolski. And has he won it? For us later the death. The buy me the buy Leverkusen players are celebrating like it is. Let's just hope that it does end up being the case. Alright, let's change our play, go ultra defensive. Let's not do anything stupid at this point. Alright, since when did Bayern Leverkusen sign Declan Rice? No, that's what we can see the first goal. But we don't concede again. We've won this game. We have won the first game we've played today. A 2 1 win. A, late, a pretty sneaky win right to death. Let's see you guys at the home game against Dortmund. Okay, so we are going for the exact same lineup in this game against Dortmund at home at the Rhein Energie Stadion. Um, because why mess with a winning formula? I am expecting this game to be a lot tougher. But let's hope we can get another win under our belts. So here we are, this wet and rainy day at the Rhine Energy Stadion. But let's hope that it's not going to rain defeat in Kern. As Duda immediately slips during that intro. Let's go. So I couldn't help but notice that from the outset, that Dortmund seem to be playing with five at the back. Let's see how we're going to face that challenge. But it looks like we could score first, and we have! Levin Martin again! This youngster is proving to be an absolute gem out of our youth system. Come celebrate with me. There we go. Fantastic. That is what you like to see. Us celebrating goals as a team. What a ball by Ahizi Boe. Sending through Martin perfectly into the bomb corner. No chance for the goalkeeper. And we seem to be away at once again. He's a boy this time. Says boy in early my death. It's two. So early on. But all we've got to do is just keep our concentration. And it's that man once again, Anthony Modest. I think that was another goal created by a easy boy. And wow. What a start. And it's the multi-replay. And it's the multi-angle replay as well. One, or ein, zwei, drei. Perfect. I wasn't really convinced that was a free kick, but okay. Let's see if we can get Shkahiri on the line or thereabouts. Oh, off the frame of the goal. Let's get away. Martin's kept the ball in, but this isn't Mbappé. Three, surely. It is! And it's, this one isn't ruled out for offside. Well, I'm not going to make get Florian Kainz to celebrate all of us together again. We're just going to get him to take a bow, because what a goal that was. 25 minutes gone, and we're already 3 0 up. When this is through, this isn't going to be four, surely. This is too easy. I mean, this is really too easy. Ah, oh, what is going on in this game? By a, by, I mean, by a laser cues and gave us more of a challenge. But maybe I shouldn't start getting cocky. Surely 
surely not. <sighs> Have I got this game set accident too easy by accident? I mean, I know that where Dortmund are playing with wing with wing backs and where well, their wingers are more like wing backs and they've, where they've got the three centre backs, it may be a bit easier to get around them. But this is this is just getting ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. So despite the temptation, even though we are 5-0 up at half time, I am not going to go ahead and visual sim the rest of the match, because otherwise that's just not going to be entertaining um, on this channel. So we'll see you in the second half. And Martin again to Modest, oh, just wide. And yes, I am still playing this second half. You haven't seen much because not much has happened so far. This was the only real opportunity so far. Oh, so have Dortmund just found a way back into this game? No, they haven't, thanks to a great clearance there by Noah Katterbach. I tell a lie. That's their way back into the game. And of course, Lacazette brings out his trademark. And, uh... I'm guessing that's going to be just a mere consolation. He's a very sent through Martin once again in this match. Straight down the throat of Berkey. Could not want to concede that goal. I can't see that it's going to be red, right, isn't it? No, okay. I um I felt for certain that was gonna be in a red card, but uh Nope, it appears not. And so Erling Haaland who hasn't done anything this game. Of course scores with the first shot that he had. Um Well actually no, that was the second shot that he had. But yeah, but that is not gonna make too much of a difference to the result. What a win for us here. Fi final score. And I know I'm calling this now ahead of the full time whistle, which is brave. But yep, yeah, I'm announcing this now. Final score FA Cove 5, Borussia Dortmund 2. And there goes the final whistle for confirmation, just as I've said that. We'll see you for game 4. Okay, so here we are for the fourth of the five games today. Um, we're going with the rotation team, rotation team for the uh, for the second sim to game against Wolfsburg. Um, just to get a bit of rotation out there. Um, you know what? I'm just gonna go ahead and quick sim this one up. Even with a second sort of team, I feel confident with it. Maybe I was too confident. <laughs> There we are, but it finishes a 2-0 loss, but that's okay, because it means that the first team is going to be perfect condition, fingers crossed, for the final game of the episode against Hertha Berlin. And so here we are, the fifth and final episode today of the, epi of the career mode, um, and then stay tuned because after this game, I'm going to run, run by you one or two transfer targets I've got in mind, and we'll see, and we'll see um, who those are. And yeah, so you get, so you'll get to choose it whether or not I pick them up. Okay, so here we are, the fifth and final episode of the day. As I've noticed, it, it's going to be a return to Kern for Jean Cordoba. Let's hope his we can make his return a bit of a nightmare. Well, let's go. The kinds have been sent through perfectly. We just need to get these passes right. And it should be a good chance for us. Try and make it 1 0. Dennis tries to take a pass right the center. Turn it back. Right. The shot gets blocked in the end. Fantastic triple chance there from the corner, but still nothing as yet. Racing through Duda. Oh. Oh, 
back is towards Martin who gets past his man and it's that youngster yet again who fires us into the lead. I had thought about getting the new right winger in uh, earlier on in the season but then I saw this guy in the youth academy, brought it in and I've not regretted that move ever since. What, and of course it would be him who unlocks the key to the Dortmund, to the Dortmund defence, to the Hertha defence. Let's see if we can build on this. He sees the run of, oh. I was going to say he saw the run of Duda, but he couldn't quite make the first connection there, but it's okay, he's won the corner, which Jonas Hector will whip in. The stuff he gets the end of, and he makes it too. Ah, oh. you know 2020 is a is a weird year for you when not only do you sign Mustafi, but he also scored, but he also contributes to a goal in the right end for you. Fantastic stuff. That's their first shot on target. EA, you're too scripted with this. You're really too scripted with this as Chu as Chuna but fire is Berlin back into this game. So the half-time whistle goes. We're leading this game 2-1 going into the break. Let's see if we can still hold on for the rest of the second half. Hector gets the ball in the end with that. No way. Is oh, come on. Don't let Morgan Sanson score from this. Hector get on the line. And Pierre Schurz is over it as well. It's not going to be Samson or Sher. It is going to be Tuna. Blocked at the first opportunity. Get it away. <sighs> this is ridiculous. They fought back from 2-0 two, from two down to 2-2. Two, two, with effectively their two shots on target. But it's okay. We've got the quality. We can win this. They've just been allowed to run right through us. Ah, Not exactly ideal, but we've still got half an hour to go to protect this home run being run of ours. Come on. They've just brought on, brought on Christoph Piatek, Piatek as well, I see. So they're not going to stop here now, are they? Do I even need to sign this guy further down the line? Because he's just been tearing my defence apart. Right, I've got a plan. Bear with me, I've got a plan. Right, he's, he's brought us jubilation once already. Can Lucas Podolski do it once again? Dudo's in, he's in. Yes! There's, a ch there's still time for us yet. He's not going to celebrate this goal against his former club. He's just going to get us straight back into it. He knows that there's work still to be done. I can't make all these stupid mistakes. Um, I'm still not going to get a red card for conceding these penalties. But, as long as it, it, if it meant Cordoba not getting a goal against us, so be it. But is Piatek going to surely wrap up this win? No, because he smacks his belly against the crossbar. Right, and we've got a chance to go on the counter-attack. Maybe Wodowski isn't the best person for it, but he's going to set up the next best person, Andre Duda. He sees one of Jakobs on the far side. Saved. It's alright, there's still time. Not again! Come on! And this is going to be a card. I haven't seen who the fouls against. Ishmael Jacobs, right. Let's see if Piatic can, let's see if Lightning can strike twice and Piatic miss again. Nope, he's gonna send Duda the wrong way. And that's surely our starting for the game. Surely. Is there time? Is there time yet? I don't know if we're gonna be allowed it. We'll just have to wait and see. Surely not. 
We've done it! And he's done it once again! Lucas Podolski has broken hearts once again! Yes! I didn't think it was going to happen, but we've done it! Fantastic! And that's all that was written in, that, in those last few moments. He may have got the match ball, but we robbed them of three points. What a game. Okay, so we've got three Youth Academy players who will want to get pro deals. So it's Velasco, Birch, and Chow. So, Birch. Yeah, let's promote him. Chow. Let's promote him. And Velasco. Inter very interesting, similar sort of range to uh, Levin Martin in terms of his potential when he was in the uh, Youth Academy. Not quite um, at that sort of level in terms of his overall, but I'm sure we'll put him and the other two guys we've just promoted on the onto the loan list. Okay, now one or two emails have come in. It's a bit interesting. Um, so. Rex Bejai has gone back to Wolfsburg and Hanover have taken Zeeler back as well as departures for Drexler, Hurga, Chikos, Lembrell leaves on loan so maybe I should really take a look at things give me one second so I haven't done a little bit of looking around um, so I've decided that these are the things that we're gonna that I'm gonna make you decide about. Do we so what do we do? Do we go for Curtis Jones um, to bring in as a replacement for Rex Bajai? I mean I know he's younger and a lower overall, but if we can get him in permanently or on loan, then we can build it. Build him up and make him become a player of our own and also I wanted to go in for Jetro Willems, but Frankfurt have since offered an extension to him, which he has signed, and so my option will be for Tony Leto at left back, that we can get on a pre-contract. Do we go in for him? Those will be your votes, chance to vote on the Instagram, in the poll on Instagram, or do we? So do I get Jones and Leto, or? Do I go for a completely different position? Do I re bring in pl players for the immediate to, re to maybe replace Zila and Rex Bajai um, on loans once again to then fill in those gaps within the squad? So that's going to do it for, for this week on the FCA Curler Career Mode. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you've enjoyed it. Please do leave a like, subscribe if you're new. Follow the social medias, especially so you can participate in that poll. And then we'll see you very soon. Take care. Bye-bye for now.